Good morning. It is a nice balmy 20 degrees out, but it's supposed to get into the 40s today. The sun's not out, it's cloudy, so I'm not sure, but that's what they're saying. The goal is today is to start getting some of the lower siding on the barn. First, I gotta start prepping around the doorways, but then we should be able to get siding up. That'd be awesome. It's gonna look so cool to have this lower siding up, and it's gonna be really nice to keep the snow, rain, and wind out. I'm excited to start framing out the doors with all of the black coil stock I bent up and the trim. And that's gonna make it pop too. And then we can start getting some of that front siding up. So we're gonna finish taking care of all the animals and then we'll meet you down at the barn. All right, we need to cut our coil stock to length. I know coil stock on the engine's ways to barn doors isn't like the normal thing, but I have a few reasons for doing it. It'll all make sense once we have everything all enclosed. The ladder's a little crooked. All right, so now. My tin snips. Give this a little snippy snippy. Last door to do on this side. And then we can start putting in the trim work. I like that. That works perfect. Now I went up the easiest. All right, looks like I'm gonna be short one painted piece. So I'll have to run up and pick up a prime piece. All right, this one is primed, unfortunately. And it's gonna stay primed until springtime. That's kind of the worst part, but that's what happens here in the north. Perfect. 
Beep boop, beep boop. get that part done and the rest of the doors and then we still have one two-ish more steps per door to do before we can get the siding on now we're gonna have to do some caulking and stuff like that but we can't do that today it's too cold for that so let's move on down to that door so we need to put J channel up and I put the black here so when the J channel butts up against our trim work you won't see any space behind it and this flashing will cover it. I think, I think that should make sense. I hope that makes sense. Woo! Just so you know, it has not warmed up yet. They're saying it's supposed to warm up today, but I think they're full of baloney. All right. I do not like the beige trim, but what are you gonna do? All right, let's get these cut to length. There's a lot of little pieces for making all the doorway openings. That's for sure, 88 and three quarter. All right, this little piece now is so when we go up against, if there's any little gap, you won't see daylight and you'll just see black. I hope that makes sense. Seven and a quarter. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. All right, I was just putting zip tape on there to cover up the white. I don't like the white on black coil stock, but that's all I can get. And I had some leftover zip tape, but unfortunately, not enough. But it'll be better than not having none at all, I guess. So now we can start with the siding down this end. Oh, I found a little bit more tape in the house. I don't know how far it'll go, but we can at least get the top done. 
with it. I gotta tell you, I was not expecting to see oh. these doorways this nice. He did a great job. I love it. I thought he was using his torch again and doing some more sh shishiki whatever. Shishiki, shishiki bond. Shishiki bond. But it's left over from the house, which is even better. It looks so good. It's gonna hold up well, I think. It should. I love it. Yeah, we probably have rolls of zip tape here and there in miscellaneous places, so. And hopefully that's the last one. What? The zip tape. It is. It looks so good. I wish we had a little bit more zip tape. But we could somewhere. There we go. That'll do it. Now I was concerned about what this would look like because it was just going to be a blank wall and it looks really, really good I think so far. Now we've got to figure out our doors. Right. You did the trim so good. Yep. Well, you got to have trim because we got to have a place to mount our hinges. Right. And I didn't want to be screwing our hinges to the metal work. So I put the wood there so we can have a place to screw the hinges to the doors. All right, we got to find the siding and then we'll have to mark on it and see how far we want it to stick down below that two by. I think it's going to be like almost two inches, inch and a half. And I'll have to put the first one in, slide it up, see how that goes. Level it off, screw it, and then just keep working our way down. Hopefully we're not fighting it too much because we're putting the siding on backwards. We should have done the lower siding first and then the top. But we did the top because we had the lift here and we wanted to get that to go back because it was costing us money to have it here. So now we got to get that siding underneath the top siding because you want to have it under. So that way if it rains, the rain comes down and it'll just go over the bottom sheet and not under it. So... We'll see, we didn't put our last row of screws in. Worst case scenario, I'll have to get up and I'll have to loosen up the screws for the other set of screws above, but we'll get one sheet up and see what happens. So ideally, it would seem as if we could kind of get this front siding on really fast, but I think it's gonna be a little bit slower than we'd, we would like. And once we get around the doors, it's gonna slow us down anyway. So just wish us luck that we can get at least to where we want to before we are done for today. I'm excited to see what it looks like. So. Wow, good thing I wasn't standing there. Watch your eyeballs. Yuck. They got some tension on them. All right, first sheet, let's see how it goes. You don't have your gloves on. I know, I don't want them on. Oh, it's only eight feet. It's nice and light. Sure it is. Now. It should just slide problem. up there. Is it going to scratch? You want me to get up on the ladder? Now you got that piece, two pieces there. Just don't be rough because I'm going to. I have to get my fingers in there. Okay, slowly. Yep. Okay, now I'll come back down. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay, you got to measure an inch and a half. You have to move that ladder out of your way, probably. Come down a little. Good. Okay. Okay, so hold on. Then. You want me to check the measurement? Or are you good? I'm good. Oh, you know why we're going? We started that way. Oh, did we? Why did we do that? Oh no. We must have been over there. We must have been. So do we need to go and start that way? Yeah, we're gonna have to start. Bummer. That way and work this way. That's a Sheesh, it wasn't even that long ago. I can't remember. So I had my measurement right the first time. Are you able to get under over there? Okay, so now you can go over here. All 
All right, so that's not gonna go anywhere. Let's just get some more sheets and we'll just keep going up and then I'll come back and screw it after. Oh uh, yeah, right? Yeah, cause then we can snap a chalk line. I'll put like one row in to hold it. And then the next ones we can all come back and just snap a chalk line. Will that red come off of this? Oh yeah, or I can do a blue. So now we can just make sure it's level and flush up the bottom to the next, to the last sheet. Perfect. I am going to work from the inside and push because it's easier my hands aren't in the way. And I think I'm gonna try that, see if it works better. Anything or no? Push over that other rib now. Uh, hold on, I came out. Go back to the first one. Okay, now go to the second one. Three quarters. 89 and three quarters. And thirty two. All right, this is going to be fun. Yeah, not so we got to get it under this, but under that, right. And that. All right, so go over by the door more and pop out. There you go. More? Okay, no, that's good. Now come back and pop out the other ends. Okay, pop out the next one, uh, the first one. It has a double layer. Okay, there we go. Did you get it? Yep, we got it. Okay, you can let go. Oh, really? That was easy. You're down a little. So you gotta go up. Can you push it up? Yep, now push up the rest of the sheet. There you go. Uh, 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 hold up. Okay. Need oh, more? There we go. Doorway completely covered. How do you like it? Looks good. It'll look better when it's the one on that's all black. Oh yeah. Don't scratch the doorway. Whoops. Okay. All right, now I'll have to cut a piece and then undo all those high ones. It's looking so weird having the front closed in. Get it over there. 
right here. Double sheet. Yep. Let's try that first. Okay. Like that. Okay. So now let me go over here, get a measurement. So 89 and three quarters has been working good. 89 and three quarters. Needs like a light right here shining so you can see what you're cutting. This will be past the second door. And then we only have one more door on this wall. We still have plenty more doors to do, just not on this wall. So I'll have you push out from inside and we'll work our way this way. There you go. Okay, now push out the other end. My ladder's in my way now. Okay, push out towards the center of the door, both panels. There we go. Okay. All right, you're good. All the way to the other end. Okay. You get it? Yep. It looks so good, I love it. I love it, I love the black trim. I like the full wall, I wasn't sure because when we first just put it up, we had no idea what we were doing. I think it's gonna look good. We just have that a little bit to do. gonna be so different in here once all the sides are closed in. Once that side's closed in, that'll really make a difference. That's where we get a lot of our wind, is this way. I'm just getting a little concerned now because I, it'd be nice to get closed in because of the wind, but then we won't have the sun when we actually see it because the sun really warms everything up. The you sun think, will still warm it up because so? it's not insulated. Okay. Oh yeah. I really don't need it, but. This should be the worst side to do with all the doors that somebody had to have. No names given. I'm recording you, you know. I know you are. That's why I said no names given. No, you do. But I know you can do it. Ow, with my hands. Alright, you're good. Perfect, I like it. Alright, so let me screw in some high ones so it doesn't move.
You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Now what? Now we gotta snap some chalk lines at every girt all the way down. I'll go get the, find the blue chalk line. Blue washes off easier. So we got blue, I believe, in the shop. There, there. Oh, this one doesn't take the blue. All right, let's see how many screws we can go through. All right, we got that whole front wall screwed in. I went up on the ladder and I got all the high screws in after. So that's all done. That sunset is beautiful. This is where we're gonna end this video. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. Thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye. Would you look at that sunset? So beautiful. Bye.